Hey guys, I thought I'd let you know about a little bit of, little bit of a project I did uh, in my garage. Uh, this is where I do everything. It's a three-car garage. It was built in 1950. It's a very simple building, CMU walls and a hip roof. And it didn't even have uh, a full ceiling joist system. It was just four ceiling joists across the entire span and one perpendicular beam, and that was it. Uh, it was built in 1950. And I wanted to finish it off to try to turn it into man cave slash workshop slash whatever. And I did most of the work last year. I managed to put in ceiling joists, insulation, and a lighting system. And uh, my wife loves it simply for the fact that all my projects are now out here instead of in the house. But I'm going to show you something that I did have a problem with. And... I've got a place to sit, a place to work, to do videos, but I don't have any way to watch TV out here unless I want to stand in front of that computer you see over there. But that's not very comfortable and it's definitely not a very big screen. And I was trying to figure out a way to get a television in here of a medium sized screen. But let me show you, I'm standing in the middle. There is no empty walls in this place. To put a television and there's nothing nothing at all so i went online and this is what i found a vivo ceiling mounted motor driven remote control bracket for a television uh, no this is not uh, uh being sponsored or nobody's uh given it to me uh, i paid 179 bucks for it which really, for what it does, it, I thought was fairly decent. A regular mount for television on the wall costs between, what, 60, 80 bucks. If you want one that uh, pulls out and swivels, it costs even more. So I thought this is well within the range of a, of a television mount. And this is specifically what I was looking for. I didn't even think that I would be able to get one at this price that was motorized. It didn't even hit me. I was, I would have been happy with something that, uh, that I manually opened and closed. So let's take a look at it. I've already got it up on the ceiling. Now, as you can see, this is mounted with four lag bolts, two here, two on the opposite side. They are all four in wood. You have to have these in wood. On a wall, you might be able to get by with two in a stud and two using large drywall anchors. But that's because the mount is parallel to the drywall. And drywall can take weight in that direction. But this is perpendicular to drywall. This is trying to pull through. You cannot use drywall anchors. I don't care how big they are, and I've used some big ones. You have to make sure that all four points are in wood. I mean, you've got a mount that's, I think that's about 18 pounds, and I've got a 55 inch television that's gonna be attached to it, which by the way, is the largest size this mount can take. I don't know if I'd mentioned that before. That is a lot of weight, and I don't care what. If you care about what you, all your work and what you bought, you have to use wood. Now, the problem with me is these ceiling joists are on two foot centers and the holes are not the, the mounts not long enough to do that so what I did was I put two of them on an existing ceiling joist that's where this line is and then I went up in the attic and between this ceiling joist and the next one over two feet over in that direction I put two links of two befores one here up in the attic so that the front bolt would have wood to attach to and about four i guess that's about four inches about four inches over i put another one that way all four are in wood this is not going anywhere now here's the mount part that goes on the back of your television and then you'll hang it on the uh the motorized mount i'll show you there's a screw there and you pick where you want it to go 
and there you go. Put, I'm going to put it on the lowest one. The bigger the TV, the lower this has got to go. I've got a 55 inch TV I'm putting here, which the top of should hit about here. And uh, you got to make sure that there's enough clearance for this thing to fold. And then all you have to do is plug in the power. I have a I have, a, I have an outlet right there, got an LED, it beeped, so let me show you the remote. Now this remote's pretty simple, it has an up, it has a down, that's open and close, and then it has four buttons down here, a one and a two, and a memory one and a memory two. What these are for is if you mount it and you want the mount to open and stop, at a position other than fully extended, you can set those positions. You open it when it comes to the point where you'd like it to have a new position remembered, you hit OK and stop it. Then you hit memory one and hold it down for a few seconds. And then at that point, now the one button has the new location remembered. So when you hit one, it will open and stop at the new position. That might be for times when you'd like it angled a little more, or you have the mount on a, uh, instead of a wall, instead of a uh, ceiling, it might be on an angled wall. It's just in case you wanted to lock down in a position other than fully open. So you've got those. Well, let me show you. I'm going to close it. It's very quiet. Yeah, I know. It's slow, but hey, that's fine. I don't want anything taking my television and flinging it out. It takes, I already timed it, it takes about 50 seconds for it to open, 50 seconds for it to close. It's got this belt drive. And there's a, a stop switch once it's folded up all the way till that switch is closed, then it, it completes its cycle. All right, now I know you've noticed that it's in the path of the center garage door. And what I did was, I, for one thing, I took the opener off of, see there's an opener, there used to be an opener in all three. I took off the opener, off the one in the middle because it was in the way. And with any luck, I think the television will clear, fold it up and being able to open the garage door. If not, I'll put some sort of clamp uh, over on the rail so the garage door can't open past a certain point, but I think it'll clear. We'll, we'll find out. You know, if it doesn't, it's, it's not going to kill me. I've got two other garage doors I can open easily. Oh, also, it comes with two trim pieces to cover up the bolts. Now, these are not the bolts that come with it. The ones that come with it are a little smaller. Uh, I used actually the bolts that I had the garage door opener mounted with. I just used those bolts. These lag bolts are a lot bigger, but, and they may not be necessary, but I used bigger ones. And the only problem with that is it gave just a slight amount of clearance problem. But once the bolts were tight, I just had to finagle for just a bit. I don't know if I can do this while holding the phone or not. There we go and it covers up the bolts so so it looks nice so let's uh let's take the lower piece and put it on the back of the television okay i'm going for the big spacers so the bolts don't bottom out and that's gonna work that's gonna work Gonna work with no problem. There's an ever so slight of a tilt, but the bolts don't bottom out, and uh, everything lines up 
once it get the once the mount gets all the way down here it's basically flat against the television i needed to put a washer on there just to be super secure and i did not there we go now it does block video in but you know, this is a ceiling mount television. Nothing is going to be physically connected to it. Okay. Let's do the one over here. There we go. And then a bottom one. our mount nothing's coming off you have put this screw on because it's going to hang like a, a picture frame on the mount put this screw in place it will go through that eye hole that you choose that you've got three or four of to choose from depending upon the height mine's going to be at the bottom once you put that in and it locks down you uh, you go from the other side of the mount and you put in two screws here once you level it like that and uh, it'll be permanently attached to the mount so we are we are to the point of hanging this up can we do it do you want to see me try to do it by myself uh, no okay I don't know when the mic went off I don't know if I got the last stuff or not. I may not have, but the TV's mounted and here's everybody's favorite part. different than uh, normal. There we go. Kind of takes forever, doesn't it? Now, I didn't get an expensive television for the garage for gosh sakes, but uh, this will do fantastic. Now, the thing is to see, now you can see, even with this light television, I mean, you can see it's got some momentum to it if you touch it and move it. So there's no way this thing could ever not be in studs completely. So let's see, let's see if she closes without any problem. I'll watch from back here to make sure nothing binds. there she is it worked great will it clear the garage door mm. so 
son of a gun it will i can tell from this point it's well above the the garage door rails this thing's going to clear the garage door I, I wasn't sure of that that's fantastic i'm sure lowering it's easier on it than uh, raising it Truly satisfying. That is great. Probably the best thing that's happened to me all week. But uh, the mount, the mount is fantastic. I didn't even know you could find one that did something like this. I don't know if I mentioned the price before. I think on Amazon it was uh, 179 Which, if you think about it, that's not too bad because a standard mount on a wall that does nothing is probably, what, 60 to 80 So maybe double that. A touch more and you've got one that mounts on the ceiling it moves it has a remote oh and this is uh i don't know if you noticed but when i was hanging the tv the mount was unplugged that's because of a feature that it's got you don't have to walk around with the remote in case you want to get the tv out of the way you give it a little shove and it starts folding up that's pretty cool because it's you know it's more important to get the television out of the way with something like this that's why you bought it in the first place than to bring it down so they have that feature where you don't need the remote to do that so that's 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 great all right well i hope i didn't bore you to death this is going to be great out in the garage like i said my wife is just happy that all my projects are now out of the home and this, this helps things too. So catch you later.